Digital Footprints Cyber Wellness Lesson 3 Learning Objectives Today we will understand what digital footprints are, identify ways that our digital footprints can and cannot be controlled, as well as show responsible behavior for our digital footprints. A digital footprint is a record of whatever you do online. It can include websites that you visit and things that you post for example, comments, photos and videos on social media. A digital footprint can also include posts by other people that involve you. You can learn a lot about someone by simply studying their digital footprints. Let's see what we can learn about Billy from just three of his digital footprints. First, Billy's name appears on top of a leaderboard of a game called Virtual Racers. This tells us two things about Billy, that he likes racing games and he is a good gamer. Second, Billy posts a photo on his social media account showing him at what seems like a music concert. His photo is liked by 1,000 people. This tells us that Billy is also a music fan who is well liked by many people on social media. Third, Billy gives a positive comment on a YouTube video about robot building and drones. This tells us that Billy is interested in robots and drones as well. There are so many things people can learn about someone from just looking at their digital footprints. So it's important that we are mindful of what we post and do online. Now the next important question is, can we actually control our digital footprints? Let's take a look at a few footprint activities and decide. 1. I posted a comment on YouTube. Yes, this is a footprint you can control as it is you who made that comment. You can edit it and even remove it. 2. My face appears in a class photo on the school website. No, this is a footprint you cannot control as the school website is controlled by school administrators and not you. They are the ones who have to authority to post and take down class photos on the school website. 3. My name is on the score list of a game I play. Yes and no. Yes, you can choose not to use your real name but a nickname in a game you play online so you can prevent your name from appearing on game score list. But no, you cannot control the game score list to show or hide your name. That's up to the game administrators to decide. 4. My friend shares a photo online with me inside. No, this is a footprint you cannot control as it is your friend who posted the photo online. Only your friend has the permissions to replace or remove it. So we've learned that digital footprints can tell us a lot about a person and they may or may not be able to be controlled. Another important lesson to remember is that digital footprints last for a long time and we may not be able to control all of them. So. We need to be responsible for them. We can be responsible for our digital footprints to ourselves and others. For ourselves, we should aim to show our best selves online to protect our reputation. We can also choose to post only things we are comfortable showing to prevent any feelings of embarrassment or awkwardness. Next, for others. We should always get permission from others before posting things about them. As much as we need to protect ourselves, we also need to protect other people's identities. We should also treat others just like how we want to be treated. Doing all these will not only make the internet a safer and kinder place, but also ensure only good digital footprints exist online. We've come to the end of the lesson. Try the quiz that follows to test your knowledge. All the best.